Hi, and welcome back to the Global Treasurer's Future in Focus series in partnership with Standard Chartered. My name is Aaron Fronda, Managing Editor for the Global Treasurer. In today's episode, we will be focusing on the issue of sustainability and how treasurers can utilize specific products to ensure their surplus cash is invested in line with their business's broader sustainability objectives. Joining me today to discuss this topic is George Lee, Head of Cash and Transaction Banking for the Americas region at Standard Chartered. Thank you very much for joining me today, George. Hope you're well. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. So, so I'd just like to kick things off, George, by asking you, um, what are the difficulties with aligning cash management strategies with broader sustainability objectives within a business? Sure, sure, happy to. Uh, many corporates uh, and our clients have committed to and aligned to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, which are called SDGs. Uh, but typically, these goals are not tagged to the treasury level, so it makes it difficult for our, and challenging for our treasur- treasurers to align to those goals. Uh, what we offer is a solution which helps these corporates uh, through their normal business day align uh, their activities with their cl- with their company's sustainable finance agenda. So I guess, George, my next question for you then is, could you maybe touch on why treasury teams find this alignment between their objectives and broader green objectives a challenge? Sure, because not always um, the normal business activity that occurs in the treasury level has to be uh, aligned with an SDG, and that's a formal process. You have to have it, it has to be auditable, it has to be accredited, which we have in our products. So you can't just decide one day you're doing it. You have work to do um, to be able to accredit yourself in, in that space. And, and obviously, could, I wonder if you could also talk about, obviously you've outlined the challenges there, but could you maybe highlight some of the inherent advantages for businesses who do manage to achieve <coughs> between their objectives and their broader green objectives? Sure. M- many of the clients in this space, and certainly ourselves, right? I'll use our philosophy as an example of what many clients uh, also uh, have in their own mission statements, right? Um, the Their approach and our approach to sustainability is framed around uh, this philosophy, uh, which is how we want to integrate sustainability uh, into our organizational decision making. Uh, we, we have a phrase here at Standard Charter, here for good, and that's for the good of humanity. It's the, for the good of the planet. It's for the good of people. Um, and, and that's part of our vision, which has become one of the world's leading sustainable and socially responsible banks. Many of our current clients feel the same way in, in their own segments, their own industries. So we strive to be that responsible company uh, and we manage our potential negative impacts uh, through these sustainable activities to sort of counterbalance them with strong environmental, uh, social, uh, and governance risk filters uh, with experienced and well-established environmental and social risk management teams. Our clients do the same. Perfect. And you've kind of given a bit of an overview of there of the role um, that banks play within within this kind of wider, wider theme. But yeah. could you explain what role sustainable um, demand deposit accounts play in all of this? And maybe also touch on how they <laughs> differ from other sustainable products out there in the market. Sure, sure, happy to. Uh, So sustainable demand accounts, um, they provide corporates an opportunity to participate in a sense to the sustainable development uh, agenda by having their short term surplus cash, which is typically what's in a DDA, but it's now able to be referenced against the, in this case, if they're with standard charter, they're able to reference those, those short term surplus cash against standard charter sustainable loans and projects. Uh, to earmarked against that. It's a simple way, but but fully automated and an auditable solution that they can use in uh, in their and prove to the market that they are in fact conducting uh, sustainable activities. Yeah, and, and again, talking more specifically about Standard Chartered. Um, so obviously, Standard Chartered has its own version of a sustainable demand deposit account, which clients can use to invest surplus cash. Could mm-hmm. you provide? some examples of how cash can be used? Sure, there are many, you know, depending on the the segment that the client is in, if it's, you know, it could be real estate, it could be farming, agriculture, et cetera. There are plenty of opportunities out in the the marketplace where local governments and and, and municipalities will align up, uh, you know, additional work, housing projects, construction projects that need to be done. And a requirement for the winning that deal is to prove that you are uh, doing so in a sustainable manner and financing is part of that right if you're your potential builder or your potential supplier it would you know it helps for you to be able to say i'm doing this financially in a sustainable in a sustainable uh, uh, format 
Uh, and finally, George, uh, because sustainability should be a topic which is front of mind for all Treasury teams, and obviously those which do not align their cash management strategies with broader sustainability goals, I wondered, what do they risk? Well, they risk uh, they risk potential opportunities, right? We see growth um, in our own business lines. Uh, the more sustainable you are, uh, the more applicable you are to new opportunities. So it's a growth uh, engine for us. Um, I think as the world turns more and more socially and sustainably conscious, um, you will find yourself in a position uh, to wanting, or as a client, you'd want to be positioned on that side of the fence uh, when when looking to recruit people, when to looking to further your own causes. Um, it just lines up, uh, especially if you have a culture and a mission statement that's way. If you don't, I suspect over time people will wind up leaning that way and evolving into that space. Um, we just happen to believe in that. I think many of our peers and many of our colleagues and many of our clients do as well. And those who don't will, will, you know, it's up to them how they follow their own mission statements and their own corporate pursuits. But, you know, over time, I suspect they'll all start to lean that way. Sure. Thanks, George. And thank you for outlining why sustainability has and is continuing to become a core pillar for, for treasurers and, and the function. Um, anyway, I just uh, want to thank you for, for all of your time today, George. Yep, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Um, sadly, that's all we have time for, um, but really appreciate you sharing your insights with me today uh, and obviously our subscribers as well. Uh, and for those eager to watch more video content or simply looking to access information on the latest emerging trends impacting their treasury function, please visit the Global Treasurer online. Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.